Two LAPD officers under investigation stemming from a use of force incident that was caught on tape. A woman was seen being slammed to the ground twice, once while in handcuffs. Eyewitness News reporter Leslie Miller talked to the woman's lawyers and she has the LAPD's response. She's live downtown. Leslie? Michelle, it happened in broad daylight. In fact, there were witnesses who saw a woman being forcefully taken into custody by police for allegedly using her cell phone while driving. Now, the woman's attorneys say their client was injured not just physically, but emotionally, and they want the two officers involved in this case to be charged. The pictures are graphic and disturbing. 34-year-old Michelle Jordan of Sunland battered and bruised allegedly at the hands of two LAPD officers. The married mother of one who works as a registered nurse was pulled over last Tuesday on Foothill Boulevard and Saluda Street for a cell phone violation. She drove into this Del Taco parking lot, and what happened next was captured on the restaurant's surveillance camera. Watch as Jordan gets out of her vehicle. Moments later, she is slammed to the pavement and handcuffed. The officers pick her up, put her against the patrol car, Car and pat her down. About a minute and 40 seconds later, the two officers push her down to the ground a second time before pulling her up, putting her in the back seat of the cruiser, and citing her for resisting arrest. We have a defenseless woman in a sundress, two fully armed police officers with training and various uh, restraining devices that they could have used, and instead they used nothing but brute force. Jordan is not speaking to the media directly, but her story is being told through her attorneys. What they say is the most egregious, the celebratory gesture of a fist bump afterwards. The simple word is outrage. If any one of us, if any person on the street behaved that way, attacked an innocent woman, they would be in jail. They would go to prison. They would be facing charges. We expect that the LAPD officers to be held to the same standard. The officers are with the LAPD's Foothill Division, the same division whose reputation was tarnished for its involvement in the notorious Rodney King beating more than 20 years ago. One of the officers involved in this alleged use of force incident is a 22-year veteran. The other is a probationary officer with only 10 months on the job. Tonight, Police Chief Charlie Beck is responding with this statement, quote, My initial review of the officer's statements and the recorded video caused me to have serious concerns about this use of force. We will investigate this thoroughly and hold our officers accountable for their actions. Uh, the words on the side of their car is to protect and serve. It's not to intimidate and harass. And, and that's exactly what they're doing. The LAPD's Internal Affairs Department is investigating this use of force incident. The two police officers involved have been reassigned to non-field duties pending the outcome of that investigation. As for Michelle Jordan, her attorneys say she is still recovering from her physical and emotional injuries, and she will be filing a civil lawsuit against the LAPD for damages. Reporting live in downtown Los Angeles tonight, Leslie Miller, ABC7 Eyewitness News.